Hey guys, Alex Forte here, the Art of Simple Golf. Bryson DeChambeau, the scientist of golf. Now, what is he doing that you can actually, without spending hours and hours trying to understand his science, because by the way, yes, his swing is one component, but you should see the process that he and his caddy go through for every single golf shot, about the air density, about uh, the hum you know humidity and how much that affects it, the role that's gonna happen outside of the, the fairway or the rough, all of these types of things that are part of his science approach. But there is one thing that I want you to try and apply to your game that not only he, but lots of other very consistent golfers do without forcing their bodies too much. And that's basically getting the same impact position repeating every time. Now, how you're setting up to the ball is probably making it a lot harder for you. I've talked about it in different videos, but if we try this tweak, and if you go and give it a go yourself, I'm pretty sure you're gonna find a lot easier of a move and just hitting the center of the club face a bit more often, which hopefully is gonna give you a bit more fun on the course and better scores. So let's get to it. Okay, so Bryson DeChambeau and his impact position. It's very important to have consistent goal shots to you know, really be getting the same impact position every time. Now, there's so much that has to happen, obviously, as far as how the body moves, uh, how the arms are moving, all that kind of stuff. But I want you to really simplify this and dial it down. Why wouldn't we try and set up to the ball to give us the most chance and like most uh, uh, possibility of getting to that same position, even with momentum, to be able to strike it. Because the intention of the setup, as we address the ball, is to feel like, okay, at the center of the club, that's where I want to be striking it. That's where I want it to be. You know, it doesn't matter. We're not going to be setting up uh, right out the toe. We're not going to be setting up out the heel, unless you're trying to fix shanks, that is. But you know, the intention when we set up to the ball is we've got our focus on our uh, objective of where we want the ball to go, but we want to be striking the center, clearing ourselves open just a little bit here with freedom for that arm to be traveling through and releasing through. That's the idea. But so many of you, so, so many, set up to the golf ball somewhat like this, hands, you know, relatively, you know, hanging pretty much relaxed from the sockets. If you've got a good, you know, typical position, you're just letting the arms dangle down with freedom, okay? But what happens is, as we take the club back, all right, that's where we take the club back, and then when we come through, so many of you are doing this hyperextension, and because of speed, velocity, and basically momentum, we're being forced like that centrifugal force is going to cause us to stand up a little bit taller, but the hands, the you know gravity is pulling, pulling, pulling. The weight of this club as you're swinging through really increases like dramatically, and it's going to really affect about that pull through the ball. And yes, we want that pull and release down the target. However, if we're setting it from here, and then because of gravity and force we're coming through to the ball that bit higher, there is this variable every time. And what that's also doing is changing the strike pattern uh, with where the club face is, uh, the sole of the club, and the variables here. Now, it's not disastrous if we're, the hands are only moving like this, but that is still a variable that, depending on the clubs, depending on the speed, depending on how the rest of the body moves, whether it's all you know, connected, whether we're keeping that room, but so many of you will stand up like this. So that's even more accentuated. Uh, we see it a lot with drivers trying to get more power out. So what I'm trying to say is, even though we've got some lessons where we're talking about the feeling of trying to keep the hands low through the ball, which is actually a very, very nice sort of feel, you know, trying to keep the hands low, that's very good. But it might feel a little bit too forced for a lot of you. So what can we do? All we're going to try and 
understand is because that extension here is going to happen naturally why don't we allow that space to begin with just like Bryson does you see he sets up with his hands really quite high now what that all that's doing is he's really replicating his impact position you know there's his impact position and he's just setting up like it so as he takes the club back okay that's where that's all his goal swing is and as he comes back down he's trying to repeat that same line so there's not this variable all the time of you know doing that kind of thing obviously accentuated it but we want that feeling of just as we set up to the ball that's as close to our impact position as we're going to try and you know get so there's that feeling I've got openness here but I'm not too worried about that but my hands are a bit higher I've got room to swing the golf club now even just with some half swings like this okay I'm pretty much nailing that same impact position as when I set up you don't want it to be too pronounced you don't want it to feel too awkward but just have that sensation of the hands being a little bit higher that is where your impact position is now I can waffle on and can go on about loads of other variables but just try that see how you feel try it with some wedges at first try it with some mid irons and then build up to the woods and you might find that without really doing much else you, you're getting a little bit more consistency and striking the center of that club face because you've got a little bit more room and a little bit more dependability on hitting the same impact position every time i hope you enjoyed that please like and subscribe to the channel if you've got any questions put them below and if you go to theartsimplegolf.com free you can get a really cool series for every facet of your game and understand the simple process that you must follow no matter what your golf swing looks like what age you are what level you're at if you miss this simple process you're basically screwed. But anyway, you can learn about that below. And uh, thanks for watching.